Hello folks, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to apply operations using lambda functions on pandas data frame as well as the usage of apply map to apply a built-in function to each element in the data frame as well as a user defined functions. So what I am trying to say here is uh, you know I will be uh, utilizing these lambda and apply map to apply a specific functions uh, on each and every uh, row or column of a specific data frame so these functions come handy uh, when we you know uh, want to apply specific operations using either rows or columns of data frame so we can either utilize the inbuilt functions uh, like square root square addition subtraction to perform uh, those operations on either rows or columns as well as we can basically apply a user defined function so basically we can create our own functions and then we can utilize the apply map to perform the specific task associated with that user defined functions for each row or column of a specific data frame so using these methods we we can save a lot of time uh, you know uh, while doing any data wrangling operations so this is Nitin, who is determined uh, to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, and com cloud computing to the world. And with this aim, I will be creating the associated content and going to publish periodically uh, and made it available for you. So you can subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. So let's get started. Uh, let me open a Jupyter Notebook. So I will be utilizing the Jupyter Notebook uh, for our uh, tutorial. So this is the Jupyter Notebook. And right now I am in the C drive or the C folder uh, on my Windows desk, uh, uh, laptop. And the data set is uh, present in the F drive or F folder. So let me change the working directory here. So I will import the OS library first and then I will change the directory uh, to F drive where my data set iris data set is present okay because I will be performing all these uh, uh, operations on that data set only so let's press shift enter now let's check the location we can see that now we are in F drive and let's see the content of this directory what exactly is present in this directory we can see that iris csv is available here so ls is the list uh, direct, uh, list file command is for uh, you know listing the files available in this directory okay so uh, what i'm tr going to do here is uh, i will import some more uh, libraries uh, very important ones so pandas as well as numpy okay so import numpy as np that's print shift enter and then now we will uh, read our csv file to create a data frame so i would say df data frame equals to read pd dot read underscore csv and the name of the file which is iris dot csv okay uh, let's see the content uh, first few rows of this particular data frame by using had method or function uh, we can see that these are the first few rows of this data set or data frame okay so now what we are going to do here is so first thing uh, we are going to uh, do here is so you can see that these values are in uh, you know so what what i'm going to do is so species column uh, let me see let me say I want to um, basically capitalize these uh, species names okay right now these are not in capital letter form so I want to capitalize all these species name and how can I do it I will use the lambda function to capitalize these text values or the species values okay which are in a string format okay so the way I write a lambda function is so let's see cap uh, I will create a variable called capitalize okay equals to um, I will utilize the lambda 
function so lambda x x means performing uh, so this x represent any specific row or uh, column so right now we want to do is we want to basically apply the uh, capitalization on each and every value of this column species column okay so what we will do is x dot upper so upper is the uh, function which basically changes the uh, changes this uh, species text values from uh, from this value to uh, the capital letter form okay so this is the one and then i will utilize the apply function okay so my data frame and on which particular column i want to perform this lambda operation capitalize operation this column species column so let me specify df species okay and then what i will do is dot and i will make use of this apply function here okay and then i will utilize this variable which has this lambda function okay and then i will type so let's print this so you can see here perfect you can see that each and every value has been converted to capital letters previously these were not in capital letters but when i when we utilize this lambda functions uh, lambda function and applied uh, this lambda function on a specific column which was a species column the value got changed to capital letters right i can also utilize another function called map function to perform this operation okay so let me show you let me reread this file once again so that the value gets changed to uh, you know this uh, this a combination of uh, capital letter as well as small letters for each and every species name okay so if you see this df column name which is especially because we have reread the file once again so the four values got changed to uh, small as well as uh, small letter as well as capital letters here so first letter is capital and rest others are small letters right so that is because we reread this file read at this file right so now what i was saying was i can utilize another function which is map function okay to perform the same operation so either we can utilize apply or map so if i do again this tf species and if i utilize map function here okay we would see that value got changed to capital letters again okay so we can utilize either map function or apply functions okay so this is the way we utilize those two methods okay to perform a specific operation now uh, next what i'm going to do is i will apply a square root function to each and every uh, cell in the whole data frame okay so uh, i have this data frame right if you see i have this data frame right so let me read it reread it okay so i have this data frame okay and what i want to do is i want to apply a square root function to these particular columns each for each and every cell okay uh, i would like to remove the id and species because you know uh, i don't want these two columns to be uh, included for the uh, for the uh, square root operation okay so for that purpose i will be utilizing a, another function called apply map which applies a function so basically apply map is a method which applies a function to every single element in the entire data frame so let me remove the two columns first so df equals to df dot drop and i will drop two columns here so the two columns are id and species 
okay and then i will keep the x is equals to 1 so x x is equals to 1 represent what it represents is the columns okay if it is 0 the value is 0 then it means the operation needs to be performed on rows but if it is 1 then it represents the columns okay so let me do that and we will then check the data frame so you can see that the id and species columns have been removed okay now we will apply the apply map method to perform a function called square root okay so df dot apply map okay and what i want to do is i want to perform the uh, square root operation on each and every cell of the data frame columns so all these columns okay so all these columns each and, each and every cell so you will be shown the square root values okay so you can see that here so the square root of 5.1 is 2.25 and so on similarly for 1.4 it is 1.18 the square root value okay Let's say you want to uh, square the values instead of a square root you want to calculate the square of these values for each and every cell of the data frame uh, you can utilize the same function but with little tweak so you can just mention square okay here and now you can see the value got squared so if if you see uh, the square of 5.1 should be somewhere around 26 okay so the square of 5 is 25 so 5.1 it should be 26.01 and so on okay so this is the way we use the apply map method to perform any specific op, uh, to, to perform uh, or utilize any specific function like square or square root to perform that operation on a specific uh, column values or row values in this case we utilize all the cells so we basically used all the cell values to perform this square operation on each and every cell and uh, in order to perform that operation we utilized the apply math method okay so square is our uh, function which want which we want to apply on each and every cell and how can we do it how can we uh, square these each and every cell by utilizing the apply map function okay now let's create a user defined function and then we will utilize that uh, use that user defined function to perform a, uh, that specific operation contained in the user defined function on each and every cell and again we will be utilizing the uh, apply map method to uh, perform that uh, uh, specific operation contained in the a uh, user defined function okay so let's create the user defined function and we will name it as uh, def multiply 50 okay so this and the argument will be x so one argument and then if type x so this operation should be performed on the numeric values not on string values so let me reread the file once again okay let me reread this file once again so the idea is to perform the user defined function on the numeric values like these okay and as a matter of fact id as well let's take id as well here okay and the, the uh, that user defined function should not apply on this text column or the string column okay so what i'm trying to say here is if type of x is let us say string is str okay then uh, do nothing okay the value should remain as it is okay there should not be a change in the value but if it is numeric that is 
lf x then return return 50 to x okay so i can utilize else here okay now uh, let's run this cell first okay and now i will apply so i will again utilize the apply map method to perform this function which is multiply 50 on each and every cell value of this data frame which is df i repeat apply this method okay method as in like apply this method for this function uh, for each and every cell on this particular data frame okay right so let's run it and here you can see that the values got multiplied by 50 okay so you can actually check these id values so uh, the id value was one earlier so now it is 50 similarly it was uh, the sepal length was 5.1 so it has been multiplied by 50 so it's 255 and you can see here these uh, text values or the string values kept untouched okay so nothing happened to these uh, string values right uh, if you see here so you can see 1 multiplied by 50 2 multiplied and this uh, uh, 2 multiplied by 50 is 100 150 and so on all right it, you can see here right the id values perfect so to conclude we uh, learned about as usage of lambda as well as apply map or apply to apply functions on each element of data frame from data wrangling perspective so here is the today's question uh, so folks which method out of the uh, uh, you know uh, out of the ma uh, methods mentioned above or the shown above like uh, apply map map um, uh, in fact uh, lambda function uh, is more easy to use from your opinion okay so please share your comments in the comment section given below and if you're watching this video and you're all uh, you're not already subscribed to our channel uh, consider clicking that uh, little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release the new video so thanks for hanging out with us guys i will be covering the you know next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you